Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and today I am genetically creating cars. I am a mad scientist. No, uh, this is a toy, basically, on the internet. It's all written in HTML5, which is awesome. Uh, each of these cars in this population is defined by a number of a number of values, which it is set up its shape, the size of the tires, the density of the tires, and pretty much that's it. It creates a bunch of 20 to start with, and then tracks how far they go along this course, and the course is defined by a random seed, and the random seed I've used is fly safe. So you guys can go to this website and do this yourself. Um, once the thing gets as far as it can, it, uh, we take the genes that make up that one that went the furthest, the one that was the fittest, and uh, we make subtle variations to it. And that's what the mutation rate says. The mutation rate tells us how much the, what, you know, what what the rate of mutation is, basically. <laughs> and so uh, you see this thing trying to get over this bump here. Oh, it got over. Excellent. And it keeps going. Oh, and it's stuck now. And so it's dead. But although it's dead, it actually managed to go from being number two. The previous best was 110. The new best is 124. So in one generation of evolution, we managed to improve the quality of our species just a little. Uh, the ghost one there is the previous one. The physics aren't 100% deterministic. And you'll see that there's a slight variation there. I guess that might help with evolving, or it might just be that doing physics in JavaScript or HTML5 is not a 100% perfect process. Still, it didn't get much further. I guess, actually, it didn't. It, <laughs> it was 30 centimeters less, so uh, one foot less. But you see, it has come back, and there are subtle variations going on here. Now, uh, you can adjust the way this mutates. You can change the mutation rate between generations if you think, uh, you know, if you're stuck in a rut with a certain design that you think is just terrible, you can bump that up. You can pick the number of clones that make it to the next generation, so you can bump that up to two, make things evolve faster. Here, look, sometimes the fastest ones are not the ones that actually take do the best, right? So look, there seems to be this this rut here they can't get over. If you want to speed things up, you can actually hit surprise and it will run the simulation in the background without the graphics. So you can actually see if there's anything, you can leave this running on your desktop and see if you're improving at all. You see, we've the first generation improvement was pretty good because we've only managed to improve a small amount. But now, look, we've managed to have one that improved by more than 10 meters. There has been a genetic leap, a quantum leap, a next generation in car technology that has taken it further than ever before. So we actually, we can we can turn off the surprise and watch this continue, or we can go and view the top replay to see how this thing actually managed to get over that big rut that was killing everything previously. So let's see where it is. So the, the landscape gets harder and harder over time. That's one other thing. You can ev you can share the same random seed. You know, we've tried things like Darwin and evolution and uh, silly things like that. I've got fly safe. And so this was one place and it kind of got over that. Not a problem. Oh, and that's where it gets stuck. It gets stuck there, but if it had a bit more speed, it could totally have made it over the top there. Let's resume the simulation and see how it goes. So yeah, this is a whole example of evolution, right? You're not really doing anything at all. There is no game here. This is a toy for you to watch uh, or to run in the background and see who can evolve the best cars. Uh, you, you know, some people, I, I managed to get one up to a ridiculous amount, but nobody could get near me and I, I didn't do anything different. Oh, look at this. It looks like a, a giant perambulator or something with a big spike sticking out the back. Whoa! It's kind of it's really kind of mesmerizing to watch these things run. Well, oh no, it gets stuck. Oh, oh, that one's get over. Look, is this gonna get over the next hump? Oh no, no, no. But this one is still going. You see, sometimes being the fastest isn't the best. There's another one coming. Oh no, it's get stuck. <laughs> As I said, this is somewhat mesmerizing. So yeah, the, it is simple genetics, right? Simple genetic algorithms where the best ones are taken and we make subtle modifications to it. And eventually, over time, 
you should end up with a population that is best optimized for the task at hand. And the task at hand is getting across this terrain. And that's how evolution works. And for, But uh, survival of the fittest is a bit more complicated than simply crossing this terrain. <laughs> anyway, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.